What is up guys, it's Cal, and it's that time of month again. Uh, Dark Moon Fair. Dark, Dark Moon Fair is what I'm talking about. Now at 7.2.5, what is new exactly? Well, there's a few things new, but the thing that we're talking about in this video is the Black Boar concert. It's kind of the main thing, and uh, there's four achievements that go along with it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to get each of these achievements. So we have, hey, you're a rock star, which is just participating in the Blightboard concert. Then there's taking the show on the road, have each of the band's roles assigned to you after participating in the Blightboard concert. I'll talk about what that means. Uh, that is going to be the longest achievement. Then there's Mosh Pit, which is uh, don't allow any of the ghouls to reach Devilin Sticks during the Blightboard concert. And then finally, we have perfect performance, which is to participate in a perfect performance of the Blightboard concert. Now, where this is exactly, is uh, down this way a little bit in the Dark Moon Fair. You'll see this path. It's right beside the uh, Turtle minigame. And just walk down the path and you'll see a bunch of Blighthead metal fans. And you're gonna chill there until the Blightboard concert starts. Now it starts every hour on the half hour. So that's 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, and so on and so forth. So the whole point of the Blightboard concert is to accumulate score. Now just a fun little uh, glitch that actually really won't help with any of the achievements is you can walk up, this is probably gonna get fixed soon, but you could walk up to the gate here. You can put some sort of uh, like cushion, mushroom chair, uh, things like that, place it down, sit on the chair, and you'll be on the other side of the gate, and then you can get on the stage. Uh, that's actually not going to help with the achievements, except uh, it might make it easier for you to die. Actually, that can possibly help for getting more score. I'll talk about that in a second, but as soon as the Blackboard concert starts, uh, you'll see these dudes appear on the stage, and then a death metal knight will come out, and his health does, of course, scale depending on how many people are there, but you, of course, want to kill him. Now, while you're killing him, there's going to be these banshees that fly from one side of the area to the other, and they go fast, and they're actually pretty hard to dodge. Now, one of the achievements is tied to this perfect performance. Now, every time you get hit by one of these banshees, your score actually goes down. Uh, you don't want that. So, to get the perfect performance achievement, you can't let any of the banshee walls hit you. Also, I noticed while I was standing on the stage during this part, uh, I was still getting hit. So, I think uh, you don't want don't to wanna stand on stage during this section. And that will allow you to participate in a perfect performance of the Bloodborne concert. Now, right before the Death Metal Knight dies, he's going to summon an army of ghouls. And plus, all the dudes on the stage are going to jump to the center. Now, this leads into another achievement, which is actually pretty easy, especially at this time, since a lot of people are going to be doing it. And that is Mosh Pits. You don't want any of the ghouls to reach the middle, which is where uh, Devil, whatever her name is. Uh, you don't want any of the ghouls to reach her. Because whenever you hit a ghoul, they actually get knocked back. And they can get knocked back uh, behind the stage, which makes it very difficult for at least a melee to attack. Range can still attack it. That's where going behind the gates using a cushion or a mushroom chair or something like that comes in handy because if there are ghouls back there and you can't reach them, it hasn't been fixed yet, so keep that in mind as this video is being recorded, but it probably will soon. Uh, you can use one of those things to get behind the gates and then you can attack the ghouls back there. But if they fix that, then they have to fix the fact that the ghouls can get knocked uh, behind the stage because that's just cheap. Now, as you attack these ghouls, you're going to accumulate higher score and you'll note your score is by the debuff that you have on you. You just mouse over it and they'll show you what your score is. Now, accumulating the highest score has to do with the taking the show on the road achievements and when you click on it you'll get a criteria of guitarist bassist drummer and vocals so once the blackboard concert is over which it's over once all the ghouls die whoever has the highest score will get one of these buffs now as doing my research and as i've just seen it's kind of random you might get a guitarist buff a bassist buff a drummer buff and a vocals buff and i'm pretty sure it lasts 24 hours and also when you get that buff you turn into that band member so i found the guy that got the high score in this concert and when i mouse over him it said he was an undead paladin uh to my knowledge undead can't be paladins i don't know not 100 percent sure on that but yeah that was sarcasm by the way and he was an undead paladin because of the bassist buff he turns into that band member so that's one of the four buffs and as i said before it's random which one you get, and it's possible to get the same one twice in a row. So to get the taking the show on the road achievements, you do need to get the highest score at least four times. Uh, it's mostly likely going to take more than four times. And those are all of the achievements in the Blackboard concert. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Hope this video is helpful at all to you. If it was, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.